What's up, everybody? I wanted to do a quick update video on the Bibcaster. Um, I've gotten a lot of questions on it recently, mostly on my Instagram page where I do a lot of my posting. Um, but yeah, I to answer the question that some of you might already have, I did swap out the neck on this guitar. Um, for those of you who do not remember, it did have most recently a Fender custom shop neck based on the, the 1969 Fender Strat. So it said like, um, with synchronized tremolo and whatever underneath here, and it had like a darker kind of look. Um, but basically my, my thinking with that was, it was a great guitar as is, and it was going to be a great guitar if I put any number of necks on it, basically. Um, so I had spent a lot of money on that neck, over a thousand dollars, which is a crazy amount for a neck, but you know, it's custom shop. It's, it's just the way that it is. But I, I realized at that point I was paying mostly for looks and, um, it was just, it was, it was a lot of money just kind of sitting around, um, that could be spent on other things. So I decided that I was going to get rid of that neck. I found a buyer out in California and I knew that I was either going to spec out a neck on Warmoth or I was going to look for the right neck on like eBay or Reverb or whatever. And I ended up finding one on, I believe it was eBay. And it's a, I want to say a deluxe roadhouse neck, uh, which has like the satin back. The other neck had a gloss back to it, which wasn't ideal, but um, it wasn't bad. It played totally fine. Um, this has locking tuners. The other one just had like regular 70s style tuners. So that's definitely a plus on this one here. Um, it does have two string trees, which I don't really prefer the look of, but you know, when I'm playing it, you're never going to notice it anyway. Um, it does have a rosewood fretboard, not the newer like Pow Ferro fretboards, which I absolutely hate. And um, I'd say the biggest difference, other than having that extra 20 second fret down here also, um, is that the fretboard is flatter. It has a 12 inch radius and the other one had a 9.5 I do believe and actually I think this has a, a wider nut as well I'm not 100% sure let me let me see here um, this one. yeah I think this one is slightly larger I believe this is 111 16 so it's hard to exactly tell um, but the other neck had a one and five eighths, which is slightly smaller, slightly easier to play chords up here, but it's not a huge deal. Um, it would definitely be a bigger difference for someone with smaller hands, but my hands are fairly, fairly large. Um, but the, the flatness of the radius is definitely something to get used to. But other than that, I mean, it plays great. I, I love the fact that this still has the, uh, the pearl dots. I really like those, um, compared to like the clay dots. And, um, yeah, I've been messing around with, you know, just trying to get it set up to how I like. So far, it's, it's been good. But I might, um, might tweak it a little bit more. I don't know. Um, and, yeah, I mean, it's still, it's still a great guitar. I mean, it's still one of my number 
It, it probably is my number one guitar. I don't know if I really have one anymore just because they all do something a little different. But I don't know. It's still it's still the bib caster. It's not going anywhere. Just trying something a little different for right now. I might even change out the pickup. I have been considering that just to you know do something a little different lately. Um, but we'll see what happens. I'm not really rushing into that. Um, I got other stuff to work on right now. And um, yeah, that's that's basically that's basically it. Um, if you have any questions, let me know. Um, but I'm sure I've said pretty much everything that needs to be said on this one. So anyway, just that quick update for you. So I'll see you guys later.